right shalom you guys oh my goodness it has been a rough rough well morning but it was a rough day yesterday for me y'all i i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna live like this if this is gonna be the rest of my life this uh i guess i think they pronounce it yutakara but that's just a fancy word for hives is what they um is what they they diagnosed me with yutakara but that's just a fancy word for hives y'all and then i have the angio angioedema so um we had some bad weather last night and there was a tree down on the road so the bus couldn't get through so i had to just drop the boys off at school but y'all i and then it's and then it's a rough y'all it's a rough because i don't feel like anybody understands you know what i'm going through in my family like it's almost as if well you know that's my lunch she'll be all right you know it's how i feel but i don't really feel like anybody is being um nobody's sympathizing with me or empathizing you know it's nobody's understanding my plight okay <laughs> like this is rough this is hard to deal with my whole body aches like my whole torso like yesterday i had which i from the research y'all i saw people a lot of people had the same common denominator when they come off of the medication that's prescribed for these two particular illnesses or whatever they are that when they come off of the medication they have a real bad flare or attack as they say you know and um sunday was my last day on that medication and yesterday you guys like <laughs> i say by 3 p.m right before my boys got home like they were all over my torso like they were huge and they were just covering my torso um i had a surgery a few years back i had my appendix re removed probably about eight years ago and that those three incisions where they went into my belly those scars were even swollen and itchy like i'm like they attacking the scar tissue from where i had my surgery like i can't deal and i don't feel like anybody in my family is being in sensitive to how i feel or what it is that i'm going through it's kind of just like you know they look at mama oh, mama's just like you know superwoman she can handle it you know she'll be all right i want you y'all <laughs> i was in so much pain last night i couldn't get comfortable they were like yeah hives are they say they say hives are itchy but yeah they're itchy but once they get past that itchy point and the bigger they get the more painful they are and i swear y'all i feel like i had major surgery on my torso all over <laughs> like i had full body lipo like everywhere like everything like i couldn't move like everything was just tense you know what i'm saying like it's all in my neck like my neck is i can't even explain it how much pain i'm still in pain and they said that if you have this condition for more than six weeks then it becomes a chronic illness and you guys i swear let me see what is today's date i can't tell what is today's date Sunday was the 4th, 5th. Today is the 6th. Okay. I've had this since my the first flare that I had or attack that I had was October the 13th. That was when I first went to the emergency room. 
So we creeping into that timeline of this could possibly be chronic for me. And I just, I, y'all, I can't imagine dealing with this. Like I'm, and I'm, and I'm irritated all the time because I'm in so much pain. I'm snappy. I don't have any tolerance for anything right now because my pain is at a high. You know what I'm saying? Like I never thought that I would. I would prefer migraines over anything. I would rather deal with a migraine than to deal with this. Okay, and and I simply say that because I've been dealing with migraines pretty much, you know, my whole life, like 20, 20 something years, I've been dealing with migraines now, you know, so. <laughs> this is rough, y'all. Anybody out there have any information on anything that I could do to make this any, more comfortable like this is this is pretty bad I, I can't I can't imagine not not for no years to come not even month, not even a few more weeks y'all I can't deal with this I don't do good with pain and I definitely ain't doing good with this pain and especially when I have you know my family just ain't ain't considerate at all when it comes to my feelings or anything that I go through. I, but that's just how I feel. You know what I'm saying? They might they might feel like they you know being you know being uh, <laughs> or having they might feel like they have empathy for me or they're they're you know they're trying to be you know insistent to my needs, but. I don't see it. I don't feel it. You know? It's just like, oh. in other words, you need to figure out what's going on with you and fix it. And I don't like that. You know? I, and that's just be what, what I be like when I be, when I'm here. You know, I, I can't even keep or go, I can't feel, I, I don't feel like I can even make doctor's appointments and and see doctors the way I feel like I should be seeing doctors at this point because I don't I don't want to ask nobody to watch my kids I don't want to ask nobody to watch the kids I, and, and I just When, when Elliot is home, you know, I don't be wanting to ask him nothing because, you know, he be gone all the time. And when he get home, he be tired and he just want to kick back. I don't know, y'all. I'm not, I'm not built for this. This is the, why, I, one, one reason why I just, I be so ready to go back to Dallas because there I know I have support my mama and my daddy they they don't mind helping me like I, most of the time I don't even have to ask they just do it yeah my mom was telling me the other day when I was talking to her she was just like I just I really wish y'all would come back so that you know I can help you with them kids and help you get you know yourself together you and, and you probably need to come down here and be going to the doctor and see if somebody can really help you. You don't have no help down there. And I'm just like, you ain't telling me nothing I don't know. I know that. And this is just another reason why I feel like I should be in Texas. Like, I just, I don't have no help here. It's a, and it be lonely. Uh, no, I don't have no nobody I can just get up and, and, and just go to their house and just kick back and chill. Anyway, I'm just ranting now. I'm just <laughs> this, this, this illness has really got me in a funk and I just don't know how to pull myself out of it. But anybody out there that know anything about these conditions that can can help me and, and make, you know, and have any alternatives to, to being somewhat comfortable, please inform me. Let me know, y'all, because this is rough. My whole body aches. My whole body aches, and and it and it just comes and goes. Like whenever it feel like it, like every couple of days, like it'll go away for you know a little bit, and then it'll come back. 
And just like it did yesterday, when you come off that medication, like that was the baddest it's been in a, you know, in a couple of weeks. Like, I can't deal with this, y'all. I'm not built, I'm not designed for stuff like this. And then having to maintain a house and children and, and you know, be happy-go-lucky and, How can I be happy if I'm miserable physically? <laughs> anyway, all right, you guys. Um, um, let me get back to the house, y'all. I'm just, I'm so much pain. Like, I don't even know, I don't even know how to feel about it. I'm just hurting so bad. But all right, talk to y'all later.